What's good, YouTube? It's y'all boy, Young Cow, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about the man, Lex. Uh, I think his name, Lex Meeks. Yeah, Lex Meeks. That's his name. So, he just got, I think he finna get sentenced for killing a woman by the name of Kaylin Moore. <clears throat> So I I don't like I guess he ended up killing her, but he got off with uh involuntary manslaughter. But you know, he ended up killing her and then dumping her body. So and dumping her body in East Cleveland. And a person walking their dog found her. Now this is what I mean when I say East Cleveland is the broken city, the most messed up city it is, because ain't nothing in that city because I come from it, but abandoned buildings. Y'all keep saying East Cleveland is the suburbs. Yes, East Cleveland was the suburbs when my grandparents was growing up there, when they was growing up there. You feel me? Like 19 fucking 50 something. That's when it was in the suburbs. Now, in two days time, that shit is not the suburbs. When I was growing up, that shit... When I was going to Roselle and all that other, that shit was not the suburbs. That shit was the hood. You feel me? That shit, that shit still is the hood. All the people that, you feel me, was on Millionaire's Road and big-ass houses and abandoned houses and big-ass abandoned houses. Yes, that's because all the black people moved in and took over that shit. And now it became the fucking hood. So now, every time, you feel me, somebody dies, especially a female, when they get killed... They usually get put in abandoned buildings and it's so messed up and it's so messed up in our city, like on both sides, East Cleveland and Cleveland. You feel me? Cleveland got a lot of abandoned buildings. So, but East Cleveland is the number one city with abandoned buildings. You go down the street, you go down every fucking street. It's abandoned building somewhere. Go right on Chapman. You see that whole abandoned building. You feel me? Go down. You feel me? Go to go to Terrace where uh, Heron Hospital used to be. And ain't nothing there like the Heron used where the Heron Hospital used to be and all that shit. You feel me? Go right up Terrace and you see nothing but that big ass abandoned building that just sitting right there. It was open when I was growing up, but now guess what? Ain't nothing right there besides crackheads and stuff like that and people that have died in that building. So this is what I mean. And it's, it's, it's messed up how our girls is getting kidnapped, thrown in abandoned buildings, shot, and all this other stuff. They get, get kidnapped and be put in basements and all this for years and stuff, and nobody never finds them. You want to know why? Yeah. Because they're in abandoned buildings and people don't really search abandoned buildings. Soon somebody die and they go missing. They don't even look. They don't decide to search abandoned building till three, four months later. You feel me? When people go missing, this is where y'all need to really be searching abandoned buildings, man. You feel me? Not saying that's where, not saying that's where she was found, but I'm just saying if you're from Cleveland, you know East Cleveland is basically where if you get kidnapped in east cleveland you're bound to be put in a abandoned building especially if they kill you especially if you a female you 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 if they kill you you're getting put in an abandoned building just like they would do with niggas sometimes niggas don't even get put in abandoned building they just get left in the middle of the street this is why i feel that Women need CCWs. They really do. Women need CCWs. And I'm not talking about reckless women that just, oh, get a CCW and then think, okay, I got a CCW. I can go kill my ex-boyfriend because I got a CCW. No, I'm not talking about that because you feel me? She get a CCW and feel she could go kill her ex-boyfriend because he did some shit in the past. No, I'm talking about women that work jobs that, 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 that don't really got no man to protect them and shit like that. Women that you feel me, that's, you know, stay out late and come home. Like you feel me? Nurses, shit like that. Like nurses and shit. They need fucking CCWs. You feel me? 
And Cleveland is like a kidnapping ass city, bro. That's a, definitely a kidnapping ass city. So anyway, they gave dude I, like well they ain't they ain't give him his sentence yet, but they I don't know why they dropped it to uh involuntary manslaughter. I don't I don't even know, but I'm just saying like it's so messed up. You feel me? That these dudes is killing these females, man. And sometimes dudes just be killing females over their emotions. Wanna know why? Because they was raised with emotions. Men is not raised with emotions, bro, unless he was really raised by a single mother. Men ain't supposed to think with their emotions. They're supposed to think with their logic. That's what that's what I'm saying. A lot of men, they they think with their feelings, like how a female thinks with their feelings. So what I'm saying is, I don't know why he did what he did, but like you're okay. Put it this way: if a, if a dude, if, if 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 a dude smashing your girl and shit like that, you're not supposed to kill that man. You're not even supposed to kill the female. You're supposed to take it as a loss and learn from it. You, you're not supposed to, oh, he, he fucking my bitch. I'm finna go kill him. Now, because uh, you kill him, guess what? You're in jail and she's out here fucking another dude. So she out here messing with another dude while you're in jail. And now you're thinking, I shouldn't even did that because she out there fucking another dude. Y'all got to, like, a lot of men, y'all got to really man up and start thinking with logic, not emotions. But it's, it's just messed up how they is out here, like, men is really out here killing females, man. Y'all is really out here killing females. But don't give me, but listen, females be out here killing niggas too, though. So I can't just go, but females be killing niggas too. So, but like I said, man, a lot of shit we really got to clean up, man. We really got to clean a lot of this shit up, bro. You feel me? So, I don't know why why he did that shit. You feel me? But I feel I feel it was it was wrong, man. It was wrong. You feel me? I I just feel like something with he his emotions got to him. You see what I'm saying? But man, prayers to her family. You feel me? Sorry, y'all got to go through this. But like I say, every time something happens going on in Cleveland, I'm going to report on it because shit need to be known of what's going on in Cleveland. It's so messed up in Cleveland. You feel me? But look, like, comment, subscribe. It's y'all boy Young Kyle 216, man. I'm out.